and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an October favorites video just to kind of go over some of the things that I'm currently really loving right now and thought that I should share with you some of the things that I seriously just cannot live without. So let's jump right in. So the first thing is I got this Milk Makeup Mascara and this mascara is completely vegan. I got this at Sephora. Um, what's really cool is that it is cushion fused or hemp which is what the sales associate told me when i was buying it so there's actually a product in there that is working on extending your eyelashes and the length of them so i thought that was super cool and um i really like this silver thick tube that it comes in the only thing about it is that it is very wet it has a lot of product on it which is a good thing but it just kind of gets, it's easy to accidentally get some on your eye, so just use precision if you do go out and buy this. But I do like the brush overall, and I really like this product a lot. I just bought it at Sephora, and I wanted it because I wanted to try a vegan mascara, and turns out basically the same as a regular mascara, and it's better for you. So that, it's actually the first hemp-infused mascara ever which is what I'm told, which is super awesome and exciting. So I definitely will be buying this again. And then the second thing I wanted to talk about was this PYT Beauty Makeup Palette. And what's awesome about this company is that they have a no BS policy, meaning no bad stuff. So I thought that was really cool because it's very unique and different and ethically, I really, really stand by that. And here is the palette. So at the top they have all matte colors and then on the bottom it's all shimmery colors. I'll give you a little bit closer of a look there. And it has a mirror at the top and it says seize the day, own the night. So it's kind of doing a play on day and night colors which is great because I feel like at night I would add shimmer and during the day I just do a basic nude matte eyelid look on my eye. And then like I said at night I like to add some shimmer. And then this color right here is great for the brow bone. And then the color up top is great for just kind of setting the eye all over with at first. So I really like this. Um, it has no parabens or pathlates, I believe. So that's super awesome. And it's really affordable on their website. So definitely, you can see it says no BS right here, which is really awesome. And they are so great. So I'm so excited that I had the opportunity to use this palette. The next thing I want to talk about is my Bare Minerals. Um, it's basically like a foundation powder. Uh, and I really like using this to reapply throughout the day. I find that it helps keep my face looking good throughout the day as my foundation starts to wear off. So I'm in the shade Fair Ivory 2 and it... Another reason why I love this is that it has SPF and if you've read my blog post about why I wear SPF and why it's so important to me, you would understand that this is also amazing. This is also vegan as well, so that's another plus for sure. I bought this one at Sephora. I believe it was $29. Um, and I, what I also like doing is on days that I don't want to wear liquid foundation or days I just want to be a little bit more casual. I like to throw this guy on and just do a little bit all over the face with a little bit of mascara and that's it because sometimes it's just a lot to wear liquid foundation every single day. So I like to do this when I'm just feeling casual and still want to have a little something on and not be completely bare. And also I bring this with me everywhere just to touch up too. So definitely a key for me, a favorite for sure. The other product that I'm loving right now is this gel nail polish by Sally Hansen. It is in the shade Smart Tees and it's $239. I love this. It lasts really long. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. You can see and it dries super quick. It says Miracle Gel but it's not gel. It's just regular nail polish. So really like this. Bought it at Target. Just a basic staple everyday nail polish color that I enjoy. But if you guys do know of any vegan nail polish, let me know in the comments or message me. I would love to explore some vegan nail polish options. That would be great. Um, 
Moving on, next thing that I am obsessing over right now is this Roses and Rose Rose Water Spray. Now, this spray is so refreshing, so cooling, amazing, highly recommend, extremely affordable, vegan, and um, she is so sweet. I love her. She's based out of San Diego. This has coconut, rose water, geranium, and vitamin E, which are all amazing if you're into beauty and know these products are definitely great for your skin. So, oh, and you can use this as many times as you want. Morning, middle of the day, just like right now, nighttime, um, spruce you up, cool you down, right after an airplane ride, awesome. After a long day at work, or right before work, to wake you up, it's just, overall, it's so great. I love this. And then another product from her is her Roses and Rose Rosy Cheeks Coffee Body Scrub, which I am loving. It makes my skin feel so, so soft. And let's see, in it, she also has coconut oil, vitamin E, rosehip oil, and coffee. So it smells so good. Let's just, oh, it smells amazing. I've been using it. I would say about once a week all over my body and my face, which I mentioned on Instagram how I used it on my face and I feel like it cleared my skin. It seriously made my face feel so, so soft. I could not stop touching my face. So I love using this once a week all over the body, on my face, everything because it just makes me feel so good and it's vegan, which is amazing. So. I love this. It's really affordable on her website, and she is awesome. Oh, I can't stop smelling that. It smells so good. I love the packaging, too. How cute is this packaging? Just all black with white. Very simple, very plain, just economical. Love it. Um, and then another product that I've been obsessing with for a while but haven't really talked about on my blog yet is Moroccan oil. So what I love doing with this is... After I wash my hair, I get out of the shower, I put about this much on my hand and just rub it in all over everywhere on the ends. I'll, sometimes I'll go up a little bit if I have excess leftover from the ends, but I generally try to stick to like the bottom half of my hair and then I'll brush it through. And I just find that this keeps my hair so smooth, so healthy, so soft. People have complimented me on how soft and smooth my hair is. And I definitely would say that it's from this. It is amazing. It's not the cheapest product, I believe. I bought, I bought the bigger bottle. They actually have a smaller one of this. And I was using the smaller one for a long time for a long time because the smaller one is cheaper, but I had a gift card to Sephora for my birthday. So I went ahead and bought the biggest one that they have for the first time. So that was exciting. Um, it's definitely not the cheapest, like I said, but even the keratin product, which I love that one too, that one's pretty pricey as well. So I think uh, it's worth it though. There's, like I talked about before, there's some things that are just worth the money and this definitely is worth it. And it is um, alcohol free, which is great. I love this product. Really happy about it. Super cool. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was this Jade Roller. Now, I know in my Get Unready With Me video, I am doing a tutorial, basically, of the Jade Roller. But I didn't really go into detail too much about it, but I love the Jade Roller. I got this one from Argan Republic. It cost me $45.00. And she's doing sales quite frequently, so I mean, if you wait a little bit, I'm sure it'll be 10 to 15% off soon. Um, and she has amazing products on her website, great oils, great just beauty products in general. And I wanted to go with a website that wasn't from Amazon, just because sometimes, you know, you're not sure. So I really wanted to get a real jade roller, and this is that. So reason why jade rolling is so awesome is because it helps um, anti-aging basically <laughs> and who doesn't want that so I love this jade roller I keep it in the freezer and I was putting it in a plastic baggie and then keeping it in the freezer but I found that that was really wasteful so I started putting it in foil but I feel like that's wasteful too so 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might just wrap it in a cloth. I think that's the least wasteful thing I could do. And um, leave it in the freezer and use it at night. I've heard that using it in the morning can be also extremely beneficial. However, I just don't find that I have time in the morning, especially during the weekday. Maybe on the weekend I could give that a shot. So I use the smaller side for smile lines and under my eyes and my chin and above my mouth right here. And then I use the bigger side for my forehead, all over my face and my neck. So you're supposed to do upward and outward motion. So I just kind of go like this. And if you want to see a more detailed version of me actually using it, then go ahead and check out my Get Unready With Me video. But I do love this product and I, you, when I use it at night, I put the aloe vera on and I put on the oil that my mom makes. So all of that is just absorbing into my skin and it just feels so good. And another reason why I love it, which I've been mentioning, is keeping it in the freezer and when that cold jade rolling hits your face, it just feels so soothing and good. And that is why I'm obsessed with this. So for the price point, definitely worth it. I would recommend using it as much as you can for the anti-aging purpose and it's just really good for your skin all around. There's a lot of research backed by Jade Rowling. Um, if you want to learn more about it, definitely head out to her website. She has, excuse me, um, if you want to learn more about it, head over to her website because she has so much information about why Jade Rowling is good for you. And um, yeah, it's just also super cute. I love the colors. I love the gold. It just is fun. It's a fun thing to do. And I think I'm going to get my mom one for Christmas because she's totally into all this stuff. And I'm surprised she doesn't have one yet. So the last two things I wanted to use as my favorite video would be these shoes, which I am currently obsessing over. They are so cute. I'm going to give you all angles. And they're really comfy. They give you a little bit of height, about two inches. I got them on sale at Nasty Gal for $35. So that is a steal. They were 50% off. And I just really like them. These shoes have been in style for a while, but I couldn't really find a pair that I could get behind. They all seemed really clunky. And that wasn't really me. So I wanted to get a pair. And you may be thinking, girl, those are still pretty clunky. But... Um, I wanted to get a pair that were on the trend of that clunky aspect, but also kind of played down a bit. So I felt like these were the perfect happy medium, and I really like them. And I feel like they'll go with everything because they have black and gray, and I wear a lot of black. So just for basic everyday looks, this is great. And for just running errands, going to the grocery store, anything. I love these, really happy with this purchase. Okay, and the last thing are my snakeskin boots from Nasty Gal that I also got on sale. I got these in the same order with the shoes, or with the tennis shoes, and these were $35 on sale from 70, half off. So these are great, they're pointed, the heel is chunky, they have zippers on the inside. Here's a little look. Luxie. Um, I love these because they are subtle snakeskin, so they pretty much go with everything because they're black, but they also add a little bit of pattern and texture. I didn't want to get just a basic everyday, well this is a basic everyday black boot for me pretty much, but I didn't want to get something so basic that it just blended in. I wanted something that subtly stood out, if that makes any sense. So I really felt that these were the winner because yes, they're black and they pretty much go with everything, but they also add a little bit of texture with the snake skin. So I love, love, love these. These are actually the Nasty Gal brand of shoes. They're not any other brand. And I feel like my money was worth it because I got them on sale, which is awesome. I've been waiting to buy new black shoes for so long and it's so hard for me to find just a basic black pair that I feel like will go with everything and also add a little bit of texture and I feel like I really scored with these. So I'm so happy about that. All right guys, well that is it. Those are all of my October favorites as of now and I just wanted to share them with you because I feel like you could benefit from using these products and they are worth the money, definitely 100%. I love them. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye babes.